Hey guys, what's up? It's Solo, and before the video starts, I want to go ahead and give you guys a big, big shout out. You guys have been blowing up my last video about the Destiny 2 leaks, and I know there was a lot of people who wanted it to happen, so eventually I just decided to cave in and be like, okay, if this video gets like this many likes, I'll do it, and the second like goal was met, so I decided to turn it out and you guys have been blowing it up ever since so thank you guys so much i also want to thank you guys for reaching 300 subscribers we passed that milestone over the last two days and yeah you guys have been really awesome uh i do want to talk about the fact that i did have somebody come into my comment section with a lot of negativity guys i don't mind constructive criticism but when your entire philosophy around your reply to the video is just Bungie is lazy and Bungie's not going to do this and I don't think it's going to happen at all because I don't have any faith in Bungie. I'm not, I don't tolerate that. I see enough of it on Twitter. I don't tolerate it here. So just to let you guys know, um, if you do come in with that kind of energy to any of my videos... I may talk to you for a little bit and see if you're reasonable about it, but if you're not and you're just being negative the entire time, I'm just going to probably block you from my channel. Because I don't like being negative all the time. I like to have fun on this channel and I like to just make either dumb theories or just talk about news in the game because I genuinely enjoy this game. Um, I don't have a love-hate relationship and I don't plan on ever having a love-hate relationship with this game because i don't feel like i should have a love-hate relationship with my favorite game that i play almost daily at this point but anyway guys besides that uh let's get into the topic for today now again there is another note before we start there was a package that was delivered to a i think it was a streamer uh, let me take a look. Yeah, it was uh, Log Power Slave, who is a podcast person who does Destiny content, and he got a package from Destiny, the game. And I'll throw up the image here, uh, or at least all the versions of the image. It looks like. If you guys have ever seen, like, the regular screen when you go to, like, press... I think it's press any button to start or, like, press X or something. It's that loading screen around the Traveler. And nobody actually knows what this means. Because uh, apparently it's supposed to be some thing for the showcase, but we're not exactly sure. Also, if you load up the game, we do have the next weekend Bungie... Uh, or next week in Destiny, my bad. Showing up on the screen. So yeah, just an FYI. It talks about, you know, the redacted raid. It talks about Season 18 starting next week, which of course we already knew about. So yeah, just a head up, heads up. Anyway, let's get into the topic, the main topic of this video, which is going to be Catalyst. Now, Catalyst, if you guys don't know, every exotic... Uh, comes out and then sometimes when they come out they get was known as an exotic catalyst now the exotic catalysts for certain weapons are already in the game for example Jotun got one in one of the more recent seasons whereas like trespasser and some of the other exotics that came in in a season get those usually within the season itself now the reason why I'm talking about this is because there are some that have still yet to get a catalyst. And this is one of them. This is the gun known as Malfeasance. Now, Malfeasance was originally released in 2018 alongside Forsaken. And I believe it was, yeah, it was dropped by a boss during the uh, Gambit. During that time. And if you guys don't know which boss it dropped from. Because right now actually this gun drops. Just regularly from Gambit nowadays. Uh, it used to drop from a boss that everyone technified as the meatball. 
and basically what it was is it was a boss which we still see nowadays it's just out of rotation right now but the whole boss phase for it was that it would pop up and have these orbs that you'd have to shoot to get rid of its shield and then after a few moments of you doing dps to it it would reappear with the orbs it was just, it was an interesting one at the time, but then they did the whole Gambit revamp where they gave the Prime Eagles their own shields, and it kind of became a little redundant to have that one have its own shield plus the Envoys as well. So they decided to take it out for the rotation and probably are going to rework that boss. And then the original way to get it was you had to get lucky during that boss in forsaken to get the starting item for the quest for malfeasance now the quest for malfeasance had you go do different gambit objectives different hand cannon objectives and then eventually go into i believe what was known at was known as the hollow lair or it's the one with the um it was one of the strikes and it has in this case in the mission has a different ending where you can go to a rock that has a sunspot on it but the sunspot ca carves out a guardian silhouette with their ghost next to them signifying that this guardian was killed by a another guardian using golden gun now, what we later find out is that this guardian was known as Callum. He was one of the dredgens, and he was a part of Drifter's crew. Well, eventually he got killed by a hunter known as Shin Malfur, who has been tracking down the dredgens, including Drifter, for years now. And now, um, you know, Drifter was looking for a replacement for Thorn, and then eventually the malfeasance was built and eventually the drifter decided that malfeasance was a better like a better gun than what he wanted from a thorn replacement and decided to eventually just give it to the guardian because he felt like the guardian would need it and that leads us to, to well basically today uh, so you get the gun. The gun came out in 2018. It's now 2022 and we still don't have a catalyst for the gun and so Yeah, just to explain how the gun actually works is when you fire shots out of it after I believe it is five Consecutive hits it does that where it explodes all the darts that go into an enemy and it does damage you can get more than one enemy but they have to be extremely close to the other enemy that you have stuck with the malfeasance starts for it to actually work um another thing is is the reload sometimes can feel a bit chonky just because of how it works but yeah so that's the basics of the gun now you might be asking, why does this need a catalyst? Well, firstly, the fact that it requires five shots of the darts from it to actually trigger the effect. Seems like a really, really long time for an effect to trigger, whereas we have a lot of other weapons that you can trigger the effect really quickly. Uh, one that comes to mind is Trespasser. It requires like a kill and then to reload and you get the exotic perk where it's a longer burst and does you know more damage along the lines of arc so yeah it in terms of viability nowadays not a lot of people are going to be using malfeasance unless they're like me and have you know a really really soft spot in their hearts for malfeasance uh just because of their fond memories of it and also because I actually straight up just like Malfeasance as a gun. Like in general. Because it has some of the best skins that I like in the game. But Malfeasance is the only, isn't the only one. There are quite a few other exotics that are from Forsaken that do not have catalysts. 
And with that comes the question of when is Bungie going to put catalysts for these guns in the game? Because, like, the last one, I think, from Forsaken that may have gotten a catalyst was Yoten. And that was during one of the more recent seasons. I think it was during one of the Beyond Light seasons. It was either Beyond Light or Shadow Keep seasons. I'm pretty sure it was Beyond Light seasons that Yoten got its catalyst, which is, I believe, a faster charge time. I have it with me right now as well. Yeah. Uh, faster charge time or draw time when surrounded by combatants. Defeating a target spreads Scorch to those nearby. More powerful combatants and opposing guardians cause the Scorch in a larger radius. Now, that was, I believe, the last Forsaken item to get a catalyst. But if we go into our collections here, we can go and see just how many of these Forsaken exotics don't have catalysts. So... Cerberus plus one, I already know, has a catalyst, which I believe I have. And then Wish Ender does not, which it could get a new catalyst just because sometimes definitely feels like it kind of got left in the dust, especially with all the requirements to get not only uh, to get Wish Ender, because that required like all the Shattered Throne requirements where you had to go through do the shattered throne do certain things within the shattered throne and then you got it malfeasance doesn't have a catalyst uh ace of spades has it has a catalyst the chaperone i believe doesn't have a catalyst i don't know if chaperone will ever get a, ca uh, a catalyst izanagi's burden has a catalyst we already know that one arbalist has a catalyst and then um, Thorn doesn't have one. Outbreak Perfected does have one. And yeah, those are all the primaries. So out of the primaries, there are one, two, three, four primaries that don't have a catalyst in, at this point in time for at least for Saking Era. Uh, don't have catalysts now for specials trinity eagle already know has a catalyst wave splitter does not have a catalyst uh, but we do know it's going to get reworked lord of wolves does have a catalyst so does yoten we just looked at it the monarch i believe does have a catalyst uh and then i believe the only one left is Teraba and doesn't have a catalyst because i'm pretty sure that one is a raid exotic but anyway, now we go on to the power. So literally out of the energy, I believe it is just Wave Splitter that doesn't have one. Uh, the power is where we're going to see more Raid Exotics not having uh, catalysts. So for example, 1000 Voices doesn't have a catalyst. That's kind of self-explanatory, especially with how 1000 Voices was the day it released. It was nuts. Uh, Two-Tailed Fox doesn't have one. Black Talon has one. Queensbreaker does not have one. I don't think it'll ever get one unless it becomes really, really, really out of meta. Thunderlord doesn't have one. I think Thunderlord should get one. Just because I feel like Thunderlord would definitely benefit from a Catalyst. Anarchy doesn't have one. I don't think it'll get one anytime soon. Um, and I believe that is it for all of them. But yeah, out of all of those, I definitely believe that something along the lines of like Wish Ender and Malfeasance and some of these guns that you don't even see like ever at all anymore in either PvP or PvE should definitely be up higher on the list to get a catalyst. Because I feel like they would definitely go back a little bit more towards being used a lot if they had an actual buff put on them. And I know they're doing like buffs on like hand cannons and stuff like that in season 18. But I'm just talking about like exotic perks. Because like it kind of sucks having to do like you know the five shots to get this to trigger every time like it's cool because like when you're sitting there spamming the trigger it's gonna go off regardless but i don't know it feels like i'm just sitting here spamming shots into this guy until it decides to actually activate 
on the fifth shot. And with like Wish Ender, like a lot of people thought it was OP because it could see through walls, but um, it doesn't really fit into the current meta unless you're really, really, really expertise in bows. And even then, it can be tricky to get kills with it if you're not, you know, careful about it. Especially with like seeing through walls, like not really super super good especially on the lines of exotics uh seemings like if you want a good exotic bow to take into you know i don't know a raid or something to be to like clear stuff out you could just literally bring trinity goal and just wipe out an entire room with one arrow because you did arc damage with its catalyst. So I definitely feel like Wish Ender at some point may get reworked. Just because I feel like it just in this in this like day and age, it like being able to see through walls is cool and all, but like as far as like use and like sound like PvE, it's not really not really like high up there on anyone's list uh to use just because of it's not really a good exotic perk now something along the lines of i don't know like jotun is used a lot because of it's not only tracking but also it's catalyst buffing its charge time like, that was one of the bigger buffs that came out. And when it came out in the seasons, everybody was excited because Jotun became a lot more potent. And even one of my buddies started using Jotun after it got its buff. And, yeah, so I definitely feel like I'd love to see Bungie do another cycle of more catalysts for older weapons. And I'd love to see Malfeasance, Wish Ender... And a few others getting catalysts that definitely kind of deserve it at this point. Just so then they can be up to par with some of the newer stuff. Because it definitely seems like a lot of these older ones are kind of getting left behind in the dust. I mean, look at Thunderlord. A lot of people aren't going to use Thunderlord after Arc 3.0 comes out. Unless they absolutely want to use it with Arc 3.0. And maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll get, you know, something with Thunderlord, you know, with interactability with Arc 3.0. I have no idea what, along the lines of that, but I'd definitely love to see it get a catalyst as well. But yeah, those are my thoughts on just weapons in general that need a catalyst from at least Forsaken Era. Anything before that, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'd have to do a little bit more looking before I talk about if they need catalysts or not. But I definitely think something like Malfeasance or Wish Ender definitely needs a catalyst, at least to stay relevant. Um, and Wish Ender may need a rework at some point just because of its exotic ability kind of being a little meh. At this point. But yeah. Also guys. Um, before we end the video. I am trying to concentrate more. On the topics. That I'm actually talking about. Because I have gotten a few comments about that. Um, it is a little bit hard. Because I do like bounce around a lot. And a lot of the times. I'm trying to read something. And I'm not exactly. Proficiently skilled at reading when i'm like trying to actively like say do this play a game and read something off of a prompt so that's why i don't usually script because like reading something off of a script i just can't do really well but yeah i'm gonna try to make it uh, a bit better for you guys going forward i'm gonna try to not jump as much and try to stay on topic as much as possible 
But anyway, guys, with that being said, I think I'm going to end the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, hit the like button. Comment down below what exotic do you think needs a exotic catalyst the most. My vote's going to be for Malfeasance, but let me know what you think in the comments. And guys, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video, or else Crab Titan's going to come for you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.